Alright, there we go. Alright. Yellow. I'm gonna be playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again. So you know. So far it's been a pretty good game. So you know. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Last time we stopped yesterday, we went to Valentine's, and now we need to rescue the ladies. So, you know. Hopefully it saved it. I didn't know how to get out of it. And if any of you are wondering why I don't have my um, little, little avatar, so I'm playing it on my console and I'm not sure how to connect it to my computer to make it so I have my little avatar, so you know. It's a little difficult, especially since I don't really have that well of equipment and stuff, so you know. This will do. You gotta be kidding me. Morning, Arthur. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Mm. Well, that ain't too hard. All quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. Well, I should be getting back to it. Hey, uh, careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? <coughs> Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? We already saw this, so it's okay. All right, out through the trees here, then take a left. Come on, horsey. Yeah. After I finish playing this game, we're probably going to be talking <laughs> with a little accent for a tiny bit. <laughs> Get that fella's horse. Oh, I got lumbago. 
I'm sorry. Sir? Where he gone? Wait, sir! <laughs> took out my gun. <laughs> well, where's the horsey? Where's she going? Ah, oh, man. Why didn't you help that poor man? Oh, Lombago! It can be deadly. What about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? That fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Arthur. A decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us, or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay, take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Sir. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see you yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. <laughs> it's the place now. Come on. Come on. Morning. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. 
Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's Aye. on the top shelf. Here's the door. Let's go here. Let's love this. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Well, I'm done. Well, look at this. A job. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Chili. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking too long. Get your... Hey, take it easy. Right now. Get. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Rude. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. For a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fetter, mid twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in two B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Isn't it pleasant? Two B, he said. No trouble now, please. Don't worry. Two B. That is two A. Hey! Who are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid. Waste of my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. Mm -hmm. You okay? Oh, fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. Man, Karen. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Well, sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. No, horse Be don't. careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Keep away from me. Just on it. Stay away from me. Get back here right now. Where he gone? Excuse me, sir.
Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. please. Well, by guess. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. Here is that. Mm hmm. Hey, Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. Oh, yeah. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. Ooh. That's very kind of you. That's a nice but pen. I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. I look like I just threw it. You see? Not in my bag, but I out of my bag. I was in Blackwater. I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Man. <laughs> Bye. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Ooh. Give me a horsey. No, it wasn't. It? Hey, buddy. Good girl. Come on, buddy. Hello. Where do I go? Excuse me, kind man. You? I didn't do nothing. Man, these people are so offensive. Mm. I think I'm a little lost. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in '76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd <coughs> kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunslinging. 
It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and... Well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Billy Mid Black <laughs> Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some <laughs> sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. <gasps> okay. I get a and camera! And on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. See what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. But here are some other flop house. Buddy. Hello, sir. Let's return and bring back the horse to where it belongs. Where are they going? Hello? Hello? Did they leave me? I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so worth her. So have Whatever you? you say. How much you cost, anyway? Wait, that a nice way to talk to a lady. Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it well, easy. You're about to pal. kiss that guy Take or it punch easy. him. Oh, and we have our <laughs> answer. <laughs> Oh, 
dear God. Come here, you little greaser. Put him up. I'm in a fight. Hey, you you son of a bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god, he's gonna break my arm. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Jesus. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How oh, I'm beating up. Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Mm -hmm. What about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> Alright, where am I supposed to go? Mission on Babel and Camps there shown in the video video. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess it's my horse now. Okay, girl. Yeah. Here we go. You ain't right in the head, is you? What? Well, that ain't very nice. I did lost my hat. Shoot day. I lost my hat. I'm going. I'm the most. Who goes there? Just me. Look who's back. There you go. Hey, Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. A thousand pounder? Oh, you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him, let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of... This horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Just let me get this off, boy. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. <laughs> Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. There, boy. Oh, boy. Don't be scared of him. Easy, big fella. All right, let's.
Let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah! What happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there came back in the next day and he woke up started right back drinking again <laughs> uh, I miss those boys Jenny too she had some spark that girl it must be pretty hard on Lenny you could tell he was sweet on her well Lenny and Jenny could never have you found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet I a couple of leads I'm looking into <laughs> oh shoot. All right, I'm still good. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. You are all right. You're a big boy, though. Stables are just up ahead. 